Hi guys. So it's been a while that we met. So we had to start our lecture from what we have stopped. So first of all, I need to show you the web which I created. So I believe that you got the message that the course should be set up. Yeah. So this is the site, and uh, you can find the announcement section here, and uh, you will find uh, the forum. Hope you guys know about these forums and courses. If you have questions, you can ask them. I'm not sure that my music is. Yeah. Alright, so that's Mozart, right? In the background. Huh. Alright, so it's, this particular music is for studying, concentration, and relaxation. So, hope you guys are stressed out because of the corona, so, so a little bit of relaxation is good. I'll share that music with you guys uh, later. All right, good music. All right. Anyway, so if you can go to the student forum, uh, there's nothing there. All right, so you can write your questions. So I'll try my best to answer it. But apart from that, I have already created the Slack channel. I don't know whether you have ever worked with Slack. Uh, this is my Slack. Uh, tool uh, there's a mm, Windows version of uh, this or Mac version of this or Linux so then you can register for this lab group so I have created one for you guys and yeah actually I am running all my classes so I am running like a uh, few classes here so this is your channel social media analytics and uh, so I think there's nine people are registered uh, Okay, some of you yeah, are of course not from the BM class, but anyway, I think some of you are here. Alright, uh, so whatever that I want to share, I will be sharing here. So please register to this channel. So there are some people probably had to kick out. They are not uh, from this class. Anyway. That's all right. So this is the Slack channel. So Slack is a great tool if you are not used it. Uh, so I'm in several Slack groups. Uh, there's one called Ovas. So see there are a lot of channels. So there are a lot of uh, interesting discussions going. So that's the same purpose. Like it's the same purpose that I created this. And also this is like everything is in online mode. Uh, so it's really good to. Uh, it's really good to. Uh, have an online tool to help you on discussing matters uh, which can be problematic you yeah. know all right um, so that's the purpose of having slack all right um, and then of course I explain uh, what we have done the first week lecture and the second week and some of the things I had added all right, and also we have talked about the project. So we have talked about the project proposal. I will post the link somewhere here. So I will do it leisurely. So you can uh, go and upload. Whoever is doing the code, right, can upload the project proposal. <laughs> All right. So then mm, let me start. Uh, no. So now we have a very good idea about uh, social media, social networks, social data. And the value of analytics and also web analytics and also we talked a bit about data and this machine learning data analytics uh, big data all those things right and uh, we specifically talked about uh, uh, the value of looking into the analytics and how it can create businesses so we talked about this uh, opportunities in the world and we talked about startups in general so yeah, so we talked a lot about it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let me check whether everything is getting recorded. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know how to record it again. All right, um, then uh, let me take a few slides. Uh, yeah, so 
so social media analytics uh, right, so social media analytics uh, has become pervasive as a market space in recent times so so if you heard about market spaces so normally uh, market space is something that we talk a lot in marketing but social media for a few years back it was not something that we talked much in marketing right but now there's no doubt it's a little doubt right uh, it will surely become the largest and probably the most unpredictable market right and also it can influence so many things right it can influence so many things uh, and uh, you can create millionaires billionaires out of social media because it gives a huge space for doing things mm. So you can build brands, kill brands. So social media has all that ability, and because of its rich diversity, so it's very diverse. Starting from Facebook to Instagram to all these things, you know, there are so much of diversity in social media, and it's important to use analytical tools, social media, yeah, and get this data, right? And uh, there are a lot of analytics types of analytics and not all tools fit all the data right so data is different if you look at twitter data is very different from google insights sorry sorry sorry, sorry. google is google analytics and if you look at uh, google analytics more of the web, web analytics and uh, facebook insights is another one so instagram also you have sort of insights so these are very different to each other so we use different types of analytical procedures uh, to get important information extracted out of it mm, so that's something that we do analytics have realized uh, sorry analysts have realized the infinite possibility right so there's infinite number of possibilities uh, of social media and it's exponential ability to spread the news and hence they have categorized that as data explosion so there's nice words here data explosion uh, to the needs of their potential so we have that possibility in social media analytics right and uh, when we talked about we talked about four analytic types here so the first one is called descriptive analytics right uh, and then you could talk about predictive analytics and then you talk about uh, yeah it's predictive yes and then you talk about diagnostic analytics and then we talked about perspective analytics so it might take a while to understand all these things, right? Mm, and some of these things are very passive and some of these things are very active. We'll talk about these things, don't worry. And also remember, so I do chunk bite size videos, uh, 30 to 40 minutes videos, and not because uh, I have any other thing, but because I have to upload these things, it might take a while. So I do 30, 40 minutes video, part one part two that's how it works right uh, and sometimes if i'm too good so i might do three hour lectures all right let's see okay so first one is descriptive analytics so among social media analytics uh, descriptive type is probably the simplest that gives account of the proceedings in the social media by aggregating data so basically it's about aggregating data there's so much of examples to this one so we talk about these things in terms of visualizations so there's plenty of visualizations reports and also uh, important clustering right to formulate business opportunities such type of analytic works on readily available data like user comments and understand the trends so and also sentiment so this is done in descriptive so this is more of uh, the current situation and if you compare this is uh, predictive predictive is futuristic right? it's going to the future right going to the future uh, this one is more or less uh, looking what's currently happening so that's what you do uh, here right so it's quite interesting and uh, of course if you look at uh, diagnostic it's basically uh, what had happened right so it's not only what had happened but understanding what had gone wrong and things like that right? so it's quite interesting uh, uh, to see the differences of each types of analytics and you might have to do uh, 
few of them to understand uh, clearly what's happening right so uh, looking into one would not be the best idea mm, uh, so getting or you know, making them as a role uh, as types would be a better option and uh, as you can understand so uh, in this descriptive analytics it's more of the hindsight so get the hindsight of what's happening right so yeah it's the hindsight and the other thing would be the predictive analytics so predictive analytics so you say i want to see the insight you know so it's not hindsight but insight all right and uh, similarly uh, yeah so sorry so, so, so inside yeah inside also uh, yeah you can see inside yeah there's no worries on that uh from what about the right word so inside is more of uh the diagnostic right so what is the inside and what it happens so, yeah, yeah. So, I do that. so it should be under diagnostic right mm, oh, sorry. Uh, diagnostic. so this is inside and uh, to make it right so predictive analytics is about what do you think? Uh, foresight. So foresight. Foresight. Right. So that's how basically it works. Right. That's how basically it works. It's neat. Right. And then perspective analytics uh, also is sort of uh, uh, foresight. So we we'll come to that later. Right now, uh, we are going to jump a bit into the descriptive analytics. So we talked that uh, it uh, aggregates data and uh, it try to visualize and generate reports and also you try to cluster. So as it stands, it's the most common form and also most fundamental one in terms of getting the whiff, you get the whiff of what's happening. Right? And uh, yeah, so that's that's what we try to not look at. You know? We'll see, like we'll see. So there are so much of interesting examples. So one, of course, we looked at earlier, which is Google Trends. So I will come to that bit later on. But I'll try to get a, a more interesting uh, descriptive analytics. Uh, so this was very famous, uh, especially for ladies. Uh, this was very popular back, back then, uh, called the Me Too movement about sexual harassments and all that. So if you have heard about this Me Too movement, Right. So people were talking, especially ladies were talking uh, about these sexual allegations and all that, so, which made the whole world uh, talk about it. And uh, so this, so what, what do you mean by this? So how it relates? So how it relates uh, is like if you look at uh, thing, the, the, the whole movement. So we can uh, look at it from a more visualization perspective. So Google did it and uh, it looked at all this data they aggregated it and put it into a very nice so i should uh, put this full screen yeah that would be much better yeah that's like a movie right, so it's a me too pricing visualization of the movement from google trends all right so we'll try to explore this um okay so let the Globe runs okay, so you can see uh, down here uh, the timeline moves from I'm not really sure 2014. Yeah, now okay. so now see uh, things happening around the world. So there's this Honolulu, Honolulu, right? Honolulu, right? And there are some activities, all these are places where this Me Too movement happened, Auckland in New Zealand, and uh, Brisbane, Central Coast, Melbourne, I'll be to Perth, I'll be to Melbourne, and also Brisbane. A bit about myself. All right. So, so if somebody can do something like this for Corona, also. Yeah. Scary. Anyway. So then to India. So there are a lot of moments in India. So see, like this makes a lot of sense. So this is example, probably not a business example because uh, the whole purpose of uh, knowing this is not business but still this is a descriptive analytics right uh, you look at the data and you aggregate the data and you try to visualize the data so that's the purpose of this right and uh, yeah so you can go around the globe and you can
can see uh, oh, there's some interesting thing as well. I don't know whether there was no Me Too movement in Sri Lanka, right? But, or maybe, maybe there was no sexual allegation. Right? So that's something. Yeah, something interesting, right? All right. So if you go and select uh, this place also. All right. Tiruvattamparam, right? So there also you find the details. Search all the results, follow me to months, so you can go and find out what is happened. So this is from Google Trends again. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, updated. So you can click on that. Uh, you can then uh, go and get the news. Right? So it's news related to the Kerala same moment and another data. So anybody who is uh, interested at visualization can give you know, direct benefit to them. Right? Direct benefit to them. Uh, right. So that's some interesting aspect of uh, visualization. Right? So that's also this picture. Like, so aggregate all the data now. So, so that's another thing which is cool. You can go back, right? And then back to the globe and you can see what had happened in 2018 so quite interesting right okay so of course this and this one and this article which i'm going to uh, put it into the slack group you guys can later on after you watch the video you can have a look at so so this is from a site called Aligrop uh, Dropship. So we talk about dropshipping. So this is also a uh, very interesting way of identifying business right, or business opportunities. So we do something called uh, looking into niches, right? So for that also you can use Google Trends or this uh, basically this analytics. So how come? So I can go to Google Trends and you know look at all these things so as an example there are some niches so uh, LED sports equipment pet products so these are some of the niches where we have low competition right? not a red red ocean it's not a blue ocean sort of thing but this might not be the, the, the reality right now but you can of course check you know you can check the niches using Google Trends because it has a lot of data descriptive data from the data you can get the trends out Right, so this is analytics. This is pure analytics. This is how this business is being uh, done. Right. Uh, all right. So it's almost 11 p.m. So night hours. Uh, yeah. So so how they do? Uh, so they find out Google. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They found out all these uh, things. Uh, Niches using Google Trends, you already know that, and also there's this uh, another website called uh, Refs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a SEO analytics tool. So, it's all this uh, media analytics tool, they they you have, to, you have to pay them, right? Uh, some of them are free, but most of them you have to pay, right? All right, so we'll come to this later, but don't worry, the article explains everything. So, the first solar energy products uh, start up ready. All right, uh, so energy products, you guys can uh, see the products here and also the Google Trends, right? So, yeah, and also you get some data from here, uh, from RS, right? So you can see the uh, search volume, global volume, right? Keyword research, right? Uh, yeah, so search volume is high, so it does mean uh, it's a nice niche to look at, right? Uh, and also eco-friendly products, uh, so, yeah, so there you gain now uh, you find the uh, details of that. Okay. So, so let me uh, let me stop from here. Let me check. It's almost close to twenty minutes now. It's all right. So that will be part one. Then uh, I'll come back when the the rain goes away. All right.